What's going on guys, Jonathan here with TLD, got another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. This time I'm going to show you guys how to export a custom setting uh, with Compressor 4 in conjunction with Final Cut Pro 10. Now if you've used this so far, you may have noticed you're actually pretty limited as far as the exporting goes without Compressor. Uh, if we head up to Share, it looks like there's a lot, but once you head down to Export Movie, there's actually a limited amount of settings. So uh, we have your ProRes, your ProRes LTHQ, but actually what we need is H.264 for YouTube. But once you select that... Uh, we actually can't go anywhere past here. We can't customize if it's medium quality, high quality, anything like that. Uh, so for reference right here, I exported just the full quality H.264 in the Final Cut Pro 10 setting. Uh, if we head over to get info, we can see this is a 20 megabyte clip and the file is only about 12 seconds. So I'm going to show you guys how to uh, reduce that file size. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is open up uh, Compressor 4. This is 50 bucks in the App Store, so you will have to buy it separately, unfortunately. Uh, but what we're going to do is actually create a preset. So let's go to hit the plus button right here. We're going to go down and select QuickTime Movie. Um, and then from there we can customize this. So let's go ahead and save this as Final Cut X uh, Export Setting. Now you guys saw a little uh, setting before that. I did this just to make sure uh, it was doing it right in this video. So once we do that, we can go down to the video. We can change this to H.264. Uh, and from here, we can actually customize it. So to bring that file size down and still get a good quality video, let's go ahead and drag it just a hair over medium. Uh, then we can go to the audio settings, select AAC. This is what I usually do, 44 uh, kilohertz as far as the bit rate. Quality, I usually do best. And then I set that to 256. Uh, now, there's one more final step we got to do is head over to the size. So we're going to change this to uh, 1920 by 1080. You can change it to 1280 by 720 if you want to do a smaller video. But for this example, we'll go ahead and do full HD 1080p. So let's save that. And let's go ahead and back, head back to uh, Final Cut Pro. And from there, uh, once we do this, if we go up to the Share tab, now we can go to Export using Compressor Settings. Not Compressor, uh, but Compressor Settings. Once that window is up, now we can see all the presets in Compressor. We go down, we can see our custom settings in the custom folder. You might have to open this folder up uh, because I did this previously, but there are the uh, settings in the custom folder. So let's go ahead and do that one we just did. Advanced summary, it's going to show you uh, what the setting is. So 12, 1920 by 1080, 23 frames per second, uh, an example rate of 44 kilohertz. And this should bring the file size down significantly. So we'll go ahead and hit next. Uh, I did the test one, so let's go ahead and call this test two. Hit save and we're ready to go. So in the top of there, you guys can see it says it's waiting on compressor. It'll give you a little progress bar up on the corner. Now it does take a little bit longer than the normal Final Cut Pro uh, render just by itself, but it's not too bad. Now we're nearing up to the uh, midway point. I'm gonna fast forward to the end of this render. Actually, there we go. I don't need to fast forward, nothing, it's done. Uh, so there's that clip we exported. Looks good quality, and if we head over to the actual file, if you remember, the other one was actually, uh, what was it, 20 megabytes uh, for the clip, and this is the same size, just a little bit less quality, and we uh, smashed down the audio a little bit, but it still sounds really good, uh, and that compresses it down to 8 megabytes. So you can imagine how big of an effect that would have if you have a bigger file size, whether that's a 2, 3, 4, or even 10 minute video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully it helped you guys out wondering how to do custom exports in Final Cut Pro 10. As always, feel free to subscribe, check out our latest videos on Final Cut Pro 10. If you like this video, make sure to tweet it, the link is down below, and I'll catch you guys later.